Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can migrate from an existing application to the newest release of ASP.NET Core 2.1. The latest version has so many good features, but first you have to know what is going to happen when you change your references to the latest release and how it is going to affect your project. In this video, we are going to look into it. I start by creating an old project of ASP.NET Core. I choose web app as my project name. Also, I choose version 2, MVC, and add identity. The first step is to edit csproj file. Select the project and go to edit web app.csproj. Now change the target framework to 2.1. And remove the all part in package reference and replace it with app. You no longer need the version part, so you can remove it. You can remove the package reference of EF Core tools and also update the version of design to 2.10. With the new global tools, you no longer need to reference the CLI tools in your project, so you can select all of them and remove. That's it for your csproj file, it's much nicer and cleaner. Now you can build. First, I receive an error telling me that use browser link does not exist. This package has been removed from the latest version, so you have to go to a startup file and remove the related line. Now I can build the project again, everything works, so we are good to go. I go to debug and start debugging. Seems like we are done and our application is ready, but there are a few more details you have to take care of. Going back to Visual Studio, there are some warnings telling you that you should consider replacing the partial views with the new tag helper of partial or partial async. Partial tag helper is a new feature of ace.net core 2.1. First, I want to check out this index file, it's in my manage folder. Up here, there is a partial view and there is a warning, so you can replace it with async. Also, you can use the new partial tag helper. You have to set the name with the partial view name. And set model attribute to your model. Now you can remove the partial async part. Tag helpers are much nicer and cleaner. You can go ahead and do the same with other views in your warning tab. Seems like we are done. Now we can publish our new application. But there are a few more things to consider first. I go to a start and pick folder as my target and create a profile. I can publish using this publish button here. Now you can go to your publish folder and there's a web app.views file which contains all your views, including areas. This is the default behavior of the new version. There are good reasons to publish all your views into one single binary file. That comes with the price that with any change in your views, you have to build and publish your project again. To go back to the old behavior, go to your csproj file and add this property named MVC Razor Compile and Publish. It should be set to false. Now I can go to my publish folder and remove all the files here and I can publish again. Web app publish. As you see, there is a views folder and all my CSHTML files are back. I no longer have a web app.views.dll. If your host does not support ace.net core 2.1, you can still use this new version. You have to go to your configure and settings. Now set deployment to self-contained. This option grabs all the framework files and publishes them alongside your project. 
but you have to choose the right target runtime. In my case, it's a Win x64. Now I save and I publish again. Now my published folder contains more than 123 megabytes of files. That's a lot of files, but you don't need to install .NET Core 2.1 on your target machine. Just grab these files and run it anywhere and it should work. So this was my take on migrating to new version of ASP.NET Core. There are a lot of new features in the latest release. I hope you migrate and update. Please like and subscribe.